Hello everybody, welcome to uh, long after last episode um, Beardlib editor tutorial. I'm going to go over some of the new features that have been added to uh, the Beardlib editor tutorial. Uh, Beardlib editor, not the tutorial. Um, and pretty much how it kind of contradicts what I said in previous episodes, just because it was previous versions. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see right now I have very new version right now. As of speaking, it is the dev branch of the Beardlib editor. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is very, very, uh, Take a drink there. Hopefully that helps a little bit. All right. So yeah, this is the dev branch as I am speaking right now. But in the future, this might be the norm. It might be a little bit different in the future as well. It being the dev means it's not 100% complete. Um, the big things that change. There's a lot of different menus. Like these two are new. This one has been changed up. And there's this guy up in the top right. Um, so the reason why I wanted to show this is because, like I said, it kind of contradicts what I said in the previous episodes. Big thing is, is there's no real loading from this menu. It's all done from this menu in the spawn. All right, so you can go through and select what you want here. Uh, what I really like about this is I can type in like splitter, and then go over here, do some changes, come back, it's still there. So I can pretty much call it, keep coming back and be like, boop. <clears throat> just like that um, so that's super cool you can do that with I believe searching as well I'd assume I don't know why door yeah yeah so I could be like hey I want to get back to the door uh, no not that door sorry I meant uh, this door yeah there you go and then I'll show you a little feature over in this corner I can be like hey boop and I teleport right to the door um, so this is a couple things. I'll start off with this guy right here. This is the most basic. Uh, previously there was a cog menu here. Uh, these, some of these buttons were up on the top here. Some of these buttons were in the, the settings menu. Uh, pretty much he turned, uh, the most frequent ones to this button here. Alright. So what this does, you know, you can turn on the rotation and all that sort of stuff also forgot to mention if you can hear my fan in the background I do apologize it's the middle of a heat wave so it's pretty hot out um, anyways you do all this stuff this guy you know disables and uh, enables uh, editor units which is pretty sweet this enables and disables elements and uh, I forget what this guy does oh yeah he ignores first raycast so hey I don't want to click on that I want to click on that guy over there he ignores this first rate cast super useful um, quick selection buttons there and then on the bottom here there is this guy so this one I believe is the global yeah so pretty much everything will face in this direction right versus uh, the standard which is just this guy which is everything faces in the direction of the unit itself right super cool you can like I mentioned before you can teleport straight to an object so if you type in search an object and then you want to teleport to it press that this button is when you're in game testing you want to teleport to the camera I think this is just deselect and this opens up your settings which is super neat because you can type in hey I want to go to test video and go into here um, I don't think I showed this off in a previous one no, I don't think I did. Uh, when I talked about creating an instance, um, it was very complicated. You had to go into the settings, blah, 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 blah. Now what you can do with an instance is you can just hit create, create an instance. That creates a blank one. If you want to clone an instance, you can go here. Um, clone single levels or a heist. It's all super easy. Luffy did an amazing job uh, on making the, the editor super hands-on and simple. Um, so what I can do as well 
is if I go open this narrative here. Yeah. There's a couple different things in here. The main one is this icon here. So this is going to be the icon that is uh, on CrimeNet. So when you were, if you were to buy the um, heist, he added this selection. So I can just hit browse. You can do the same thing for levels. So this is for the loading texture. Super sweet. You can do that right from here. Localization. You can also add straight from here instead of doing it in game or in the in the files. Uh, so we can literally just hit that cog. Boop. Just to start adding localization, which is super cool. You can add different languages and strings. Like that string. Why is it not working? Of course it doesn't work <laughs> right now. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work when you're in game that well. Anyways, thought I'd just share a case showcase that part, which is super cool. A lot easier to do editing. Uh, when it's all in here and easy to read rather than files if you're not familiar with it. Um, what you can also do, uh, the big thing that's changed is the spawn and select menu, which I find is super neat. This guy up here just selects all of the objects for you if you want to do that. So if you want to just select all the elements, boom, there you go super neat super good but then the bread and the butter of this entire update is the spawn selecting wheel right here super cool so you can see a couple buttons here there's a show loaded units only and sh load with packages okay so there's two reasons why there's two things here and the reason why there are things here is because uh let me just type in i don't know like civilian yeah cardboard civilian I'll just click it boop spawned it in and this is spawned in this is 100 percent spawned in this isn't a preview it's not loaded in my assets at all uh i mean it will be civilian search bar civilian so it does say it's loaded but I don't have a package for it as you can see there's a fine package right this is loaded from database so the biggest update with uh, the beard the editor is things kind of just load from the database now and it pretty much allows you to dynamically load every prop in the entire game without having to worry about packages or data limits anything like that so it's super super neat it, it helps a lot you can always select the show loaded units only so it only shows the objects that you have loaded um you know like street bench here if i go into assets and type in bench you can see it's loaded from this package which is this guy right here but effectively packages are kind of useless but kind of not so i think the reason why packages are still useful is um from the spawn menu there's certain things you can't spawn okay you can't spawn uh certain sounds you can't spawn certain um enemies or uh civilians that sort of thing so that's the the big thing i believe they can't be spawned from here no, it doesn't look like it winters uh, FBI no yeah it doesn't look like the I can spawn this guy but this guy is a uh, static it's not actually uh, a unit which is kind of cool kind of neat I didn't know that existed but um yeah so there's still a couple of uses for instances or uh, packages especially if you want to like load a package up and see all the objects that are similar that were used in the same map um, so you kind of get that same feel of the map like if you wanted to have the same feel as a 
you know, just a normal bank, you wouldn't start loading random objects and then go, oh, it doesn't really, they don't really fit well together. Rather than just loading the object via the packages, and those would all fit together. <coughs> but this change is really, really big because a big issue that people would have is the, the data limitations, loading 30 packages and then crashing and being like, what's going on? I know I did. So this guy here does a lot and I, I'm super happy that this is now a thing. Now it makes me wonder if I can do it a different way. I can do, hold up. I haven't tested this. I haven't tested this at all. Live testing. Spawn in me dummy. Boop. Does it just automatically load? It does not. It does not. That's okay. But, yeah, it's super neat. I just wanted to see if all the enemies were loaded here or not. Um, but it's not, sadly. What's a couple other changes? There was this guy. I don't remember the buttons for it. Uh, control T. Okay. Let's grab this guy. Grab. So, I think the big thing with the Control T is it does this right? But if I hit Control T, oh, what the, what the? I can't tell if that is just getting bigger or if it's just because it's hitting stuff. This is going really well. I should have uh, probably gone through and tested this beforehand. Left control plus T. Huh? Teleport to selection. Oh, there's a quick bind for that. I'm trying to r test this thing out. Okay, I think th I think it's because this is not really good surface to do these guys on. Oh, actually, right here it is. No, let's go spawn like a street. Help if I spelled it right. Street. road and then rotate it just like that and go grab a box like this guy okay so this is what I was trying to show you so you can see it kind of doesn't really work that well but if I control T it snaps to it right on this guy rotates it this is the me pressing G this is me pressing H pressing F. Which is super cool. So you can just be like and just rotate it until it goes to the way I want it to be. And go boop. There you go. So it snaps to the orientation. Which is super super cool. I wanna get like a different box. Control. It's just control. I just press control and it snaps to it. It's just ugh, it's so good. Rather than before, you'd have to go like, eh, and then, you know, just, just line it, line it up, all right, and then, uh, is that good enough? Oh no, shit, it's not on it. 
All right, there you go. Got it. So that whole control button makes your life so much easier, especially for things like this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> just just testing things. Sorry. Okay. So I can literally just do this. It's just so good. It's just so nice, guys. It's just so nice. It makes things so much easier. So clearly with this guy right here, um, I think it's just because the object, the bounds, are just super big. So it just doesn't know what to do with it. So it kind of just, it just spazzes out and brings it slowly towards you. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to do that with objects that uh, have a big bounding box. I think that's what they're called. Alright. Anyways, this went a lot longer. There was a lot of me fiddling, not realizing what I was doing, but I just really wanted to show you guys the new features and how nice they are. Uh, kind of teach you just a little bit on what they do um, so that when these guys come out you're all ready for them you're all prepared especially this luring thing this is going to be a revolutionary uh, it makes me super excited okay bye bye